shall read if you guys are new here i live in new york city i just started my first job and i'm doing a video on my apartment hunt i watched hello katie xo or katie bilotti's apartment hunt whenever she was finding a place in new york city i loved her video i thought it was so interesting to watch it's so fun seeing other people like pick an apartment or pick a house and kind of say why they liked it whenever i was looking for an apartment this year i watch i tried to find a lot of resources on you know like how to find an apartment in new york city because i feel like people don't really talk about how hard it is and there was really not a ton and so i want this video to be pretty helpful and comprehensive i'm going to talk about a lot of different things i'm going to talk about fees going to talk about how you have to drop money really fast really quickly if you really want a place just the whole thing because it's a lot different than renting in any other place to give you some context i live in this building right now and it is like a nice kind of more modern updated building however i share a bedroom which is why i can't afford it i've always shared a bedroom throughout college i know that's crazy i still pay a lot of money but this building is really nice however i am ready to have you know my own bedroom just with kind of like going into post-grad life wanted to be a little closer to work and i also just kind of wanted to live in something that was a little bit older that had a little bit more character I also wanted something that was maybe a little bit cheaper and so that was kind of what I was looking for. We toured a lot of different apartments in a lot of different areas and if you see me looking it's because I'm literally just going through and looking at all the apartments to talk about them. So the official first apartment that I looked at was in the West Village and to give you some context the West Village is I believe the most expensive neighborhood in New York City which I know trying to save money but to live there crazy. However it is a very small intimate neighborhood which means small intimate apartments which also means really old apartments that you pay a lot of money for that don't have a lot of stuff but it was just a really good distance from like where we wanted to be and so we just decided to look we weren't particularly set on living in this neighborhood but we just thought we would you really pay to live in the neighborhood because it's just like a really fun up and coming place and so this first one we looked at was really really beautiful this is actually one of my favorite apartments it had this beautiful marble bathroom it was a two bedroom it was really cute some pros and cons of it i mean the pros obviously the bathroom was so beautiful like it was so updated so nice it had really pretty hardwood floors that just looked like legitimate hardwood the bedrooms were decent sizes which you're probably looking at this like that's a decent size and trust me it is you will see it had really good natural light it was so cute the girls who had lived there had made it look so pretty it was freshly painted the kitchen was small but it did have like everything updated it was just a really nice apartment this one was actually rent stabilized and so when we got there there was actually two other people looking at it at the same time because it was really competitive some cons to this one where it only had one big closet in one of the bedrooms so it only had one which was a big downside didn't have laundry in the building didn't have laundry in the unit you'd have to go to a laundromat if you wanted to do your laundry and it also had a pretty high broker's fee which for some context usually whenever you get an apartment here you have to pay your first month's rent sometimes last month's rent security deposit and then sometimes you will have to pay a broker's fee which just goes directly to the broker and so for context, these are a lot of different prices. Sometimes they're a month of rent, sometimes they're two, sometimes they're 15% of the annual rent. So if rent is between what, like two to $4,000 if you're looking in New York City, that's just like a lot of money to pay just to go to a broker when like you were the one who kind of like found the apartment. And so they're really expensive. This one was 15% of the nine months. This was 15% of nine months rent. And so it was just expensive. We had to move fast because a lot of people wanted it. And we just decided that it wasn't practical like the closet space was not so we just decided to say no to that one but it was really pretty the second one i looked at this was actually the one that i thought we were going to get we actually applied for this one but it was a lot bigger than the west village one it wasn't in the west village it had really pretty lighting the bedrooms were both pretty big and it had four really big closets the kitchen and the bathroom were really updated they were nice the kitchen was a little bit older but it was like doable it had laundry in the basement it was a good area and the floors are pretty and i loved the layout of this one there were two guys who lived here so it obviously wasn't like decorated super pretty but their place was really nice i really liked this apartment this one was the most expensive one we looked at just for some context and so we actually submitted an application for this one but someone beat us within a day and so we ended up not getting it was really sad in the moment some cons i guess the only real cons to this the building itself was not 
not a very cute building. It was in a really nice area, but the building you could just tell on the outside was really old and kind of looked creepy. On the inside it was really pretty, but on the outside it was just not super great. So it also didn't have a broker's fee, which was really nice. It was just first month's rent, last month's rent, and security deposit. So, so we obviously didn't end up getting that one. So I decided to go back to the West Village and I'm just gonna preface this with saying I do not want this to come off as snobby. This apartment was definitely my least favorite. When I got here, I kid you not, there were 10 other people looking at this apartment and the broker got mad at me when I came up. He was not very nice. It was just a bad experience. And so I walked in and this was the first bedroom. It just basically faced a wall. There was no natural light. The bedroom closet was like a decent size. You walked in, it was still obviously really small. It's the West Village. The bathroom was cute. I really didn't have any like cons to it. It was obviously dark, but it's a bathroom. So I think that was like, too important. Um, some major cons of this place. It was just really, really old. The front door like didn't even really shut, which was just kind of creepy. It was a flex two bedroom. And so one of the bedrooms just had like fake walls on it. And I kid you not, I don't even I think there was a stove it was like this sheet that they had just like put on it and just for context i'm not going to say the rent of the other places i looked at but this one was 3300 so you pay 3300 dollars a month for this and that is just new york city cons it didn't have laundry in the building it was a really old and creepy building the street itself was really cute and pretty but the building itself was just not nice the broker just was not very friendly this one was a no fee which was really nice but we just decided to say no on that one because it was overall not a good experience we decided to look at one in hell's kitchen which i guess the first con we really didn't want to live in hell's kitchen that was not like a neighborhood we were into we really like more quiet areas rose and i we are kind of grandmas but we decided to look because this one looked really pretty and it definitely was a nice apartment it had really cute like parquet floors the kitchen was really really updated it's a really nice kitchen however it was a flex two bedroom and so one of the bedrooms is obviously a lot smaller they were still pretty big though in size it wasn't as bright as the other one it had a decent amount of closet space but just for like us personally we didn't think that the closets were kind of like big enough and so this also wasn't the apartment we planned on seeing it had been taken the day before and so this was just when she decided to show us the bathroom was really updated really pretty i liked everything it looked good rose just got a really weird vibe here i didn't go see this one because i was working but she like decided that it just wasn't really what we were looking for that one was a no fee though so that was a positive and it was like a pretty apartment it just wasn't really what we were looking for so this was actually the second to last place i looked at we saw the hell's kitchen one after but this is the one that we decided to go with and i kind of already showed this in a vlog but i immediately knew when i walked into this building i just got this overwhelming sense of peace i felt so like good in this place it was homey like the building itself was so homey you actually had to do an interview to get it and so it made me feel really safe like they want to make sure the tenants really respect the place that they're nice and they care for each other it was a very like neighborly feel to it if that makes sense but it's on the top floor basically walk in and it's this just cute little hallway and then the living room for this place was so beautiful it had beautiful natural lighting i loved the floors it had i don't know if the fireplace is real but i'm pretty sure it's a fake one it might be real but the living room was huge they had just put in a new ac unit which was really nice and then the kitchen was definitely older but it was still like pretty updated it had a dishwasher which is more than a lot of apartments in new york city have um, it had a decent amount of pantry space it had a legitimate stove so i was like you know what it also had a washer and dryer in the unit which is something that i've never had before and i spent about 50 dollars a month on laundry so i was like that would be a really nice saving and the bedrooms i will say is probably like the biggest con and that's only because they are really small they are really small bedrooms but at the same time i've always been used to sharing a bedroom so just having like my own space is like kind of enough and then one of the bedrooms didn't have a closet in it but there's a huge closet right outside and so they both have like really big closet it was so cute i loved the view from both of the windows it had so much natural light it was so quiet in there like it really was not 
a noisy area. It had AC units in every single room, which was nice. And like I said, they were new. It was just a place that I walked in and I just like, it was the perfect balance of updated, but also kind of cute and charming and like a little bit older. Whenever we interviewed for it, the woman was just super friendly. She was so nice. I just got really good vibes at it. The only really con to this one was probably that it didn't have an elevator, but I don't really mind taking the stairs. And then it also had a really hefty broker's fee. But I will say the broker in this instance was very helpful. He was very respectful. He was always responsive to emails, ready to answer questions, really friendly, just a great person to work with. And so I definitely think that with the apartments that have broker's fees that you typically do get a little bit of a better experience. And so for context, the broker's fee for this was two months of rent. So that is just two months of rent that you pay to the broker without getting anything in return. But the rent for this place was the second cheapest one that we looked at compared to the West Village one. We actually got approved yesterday and I officially signed the lease and so it is official and I'm not really sure when I'm moving in yet. I believe it's going to be towards the end of July, middle of July. So I'm so excited that this is over with. Um, it was definitely an expensive thing and I just want to preface with I'm so grateful for YouTube and everyone who watches these videos and supports me here in New York because I would not be able to get that apartment and spend that money. I would not have been able to get that apartment if I hadn't, you know, had the source of income and had the ability to, you know, like save and prioritize my personal dreams. And I'm just really, really excited. Definitely look for moving vlogs coming in the future. I cannot wait to live with Rose. Uh, we are so excited. We're talking about how we're going to like decorate everything. And I just think it's going to be a really fun time of my life. And yeah, if you are moving to New York City, I don't want this video to scare you and be like, oh my gosh, it's so hard. Like it is doable. And if you don't get an apartment you like, there's always one that pops up. Like don't worry about it. I just want to be upfront about kind of the process and how expensive it is. You can obviously do it on a budget if you really work. I'm sure you can negotiate these things, but because it's so competitive, you don't have a ton of negotiating power because you know someone else is willing to drop that money versus you trying to negotiate, if that makes sense. So I hope this video helped. Let me know down below if you enjoyed it, if you liked it. I know it was a little bit different, but a lot of you guys are asking about my apartment journey, so I wanted to post this, but I love you guys, and I'm pretty sure I have a week in my life coming this weekend, so stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys in my next video.